Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Yesterday I released a video on how to create a coming soon page or a maintenance page using Elementor. However, I left out something and that was the countdown. Normally when you are maintaining your website or you are building your website, you want that your visitor is in position to know when you are probably going to launch out. And that is the importance of a countdown. And the beauty is we can create a countdown using Elementor. The website itself looks like this in the back end, but this is what our visitor sees. So in case you want to see how to create a coming soon page or activating a maintenance mode using Elementor, just check out this video in the card or in the description below and see how you can do that. However, in this video, I'm basically going to show you how to add a countdown using Elementor. What you have to do is very simple. Just open up your template or page with Elementor. Then it will come over right here and just come here to the widgets area and search for countdown okay so and just drag it over to your editor boom so it's here now we can just do a little bit of tweaks i think we can center everything so for it so that it looks tidy style center same i do for this widget alignment center and the same I do for the very last widget center. Now we are only going to customize our countdown. So to customize the countdown, just come over here and click on the edit icon on the countdown. And here now we can select from a number of options that Elementor brings us. One, we can choose a type. We can either choose a due date. In this case, we can specify the date. For example, if our website will be launching next, next month first, so we'll just select the date here. And then we can also set the time that our website will be launching. So we can just specify here the time. We can say maybe 9 in the morning. Okay. And then when you are done with that, you can select the view if you want it to be in 9 or you want it to be in block. I think in block for me is better. And then we can choose what to display. We can display the days hours, minutes, seconds. I think everything here looks fine, but we can maybe try to disconnect the seconds. You see how that looks like? And then we can also maybe uh, disable the days. See how that looks like? But that won't make any sense, so I turn it back. And then we can add a custom label. Custom label is what we want to show down here below. For example, the days, the hours, the minutes, the seconds. I don't want to do anything there, but you can simply just change the wordings here. Okay, so I will disable this. And then actions after expire. What happens once this countdown is expired? We can hide the countdown, we can re redirect to a different page, or we can show a specific message. We can type that message here. Maybe you can say, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we roll out. Or we can simply add a dynamic message. For example, we can link to a specific template, page, uh, post, or anything like that. However, in this case, nothing. But if we don't want to show a specific message, we can redirect to a specific page. And then here we can add the URL for that page. For example, the home page that we have already created. Okay, and this is the home page of the website once someone so that means when this countdown expires automatically our website will redirect to our home page and people will come and see what our website is all about which is actually a good idea however you may also redirect them to a specific landing page that you have created and you can simply create landing pages also using elementor in this case i'll leave it to the home page then next we can go to the style section and then we can decide how wide our counter will be 75 looks for me fine and then the background we can choose the color for our background I think something like this this looks better and then the border type I think we can just leave it to zero and then the space between the digits see how that looks like maybe I'll just leave it something like that then we can even add a padding 
of the digits. No, we don't. I wouldn't like to do that. Then we can also choose the digits and the and their color. Okay, you can choose what you how you want them to appear. For me, white looks works better. The typography in this case it is a default, but you can change to any typeface you want. Okay, and then the label color. The labels are the days, hours, minutes, and seconds. You can change that to what you want. Okay, I'll just leave them back to white. And boom. Then on the other side, we can add the advanced settings. We can even add motion effects. For example, we can add a scrolling effect. We can add a mouse over effect. However, I don't want to add anything. But if someone visits our website and they are on a desktop, do you want to show them a countdown? Do you want to show someone who is also on a tablet or mobile? Yeah, we want everyone to see it. However, we want to see how this countdown will look like on different devices. For example, on a tablet. Okay, looks fine. Let me see you on the mobile. Looks fine. But then we can now do a little bit of the tweaks. For example, now we come to the edit. Go back to the style. And then we can do a little bit of the edits here. We can change, we can reduce a bit on the content, the digits, the, the font size. We can make it something like 24 and then we change for the label also. It's something a little bit smaller, something like that. We can also change the boxes, the size, okay, something like that. And then we can reduce a bit the space here something like that so that it doesn't really look very different from what is on the main page which is a desktop version okay this looks fine now when we go back to our content just to review to see that everything looks nice and neat to what we want after the countdown expires someone will be redirected to the main page so we just hit update once we hit update then we can come back to our live website after reloading this is what happens this looks nice and neat. This is what we wanted to have our countdown here and everything centered for our landing page or coming soon page or our maintenance mode on our website. Congratulations on creating your countdown using Elementor. Remember that you can only get this countdown if you have Elementor Pro. You can simply get Elementor Pro by using my affiliate link which is gotekug.com forward slash Elementor. By using my affiliate link, you are not charged an extra fee, but I receive a commission on a purchase that you make. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this brought you value. Uh, let me know in case there is something you want me to work on or a tutorial that you need me to do. I'll be happy to know. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when I push it out. Thank you so much. Have a good time.